The video of Draymond Green hitting Jordan Poole during a practice with the Warriors was uploaded on the internet last week, and the responses haven't stopped pouring in since then. On Friday morning, TMZ Sports published a video of the incident online, and several NBA players took to their social handles to share their reactions and thoughts on the altercation. The team noticed a change in Poole's behavior over the summer closer to signing a significant contract extension. During this time, the altercation between the two teammates was building up. Poole is currently in the final year of the rookie contract he signed with the team, while Green still has two years remaining on his agreement. Before the film was publicly released, Golden State was already thinking about ways to discipline Green. On the other hand, the four-time All-Star forward was not likely to miss any games due to the disciplinary action because he was scheduled to rejoin the team, which he has since decided to step away from. Today's video will be about how NBA players reacted about the altercation between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. Before we go any further, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole in the face during a practice session for the Golden State Warriors on October 5th. As you can see here, Green moves from the corner to the baseline and then shoves himself squarely into Poole's face as the scenario unfolds. After that, Poole extends both hands towards Green and gives him a push. After another microsecond, Green throws himself into Poole and connects with a right punch to his opponent's face. After some time has passed, Green manages to catch Poole while descending, and then he waits for the rest of the team to encircle them. Without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started with what NBA players think about the fight. Number 1. Stephen Curry Curry is renowned as a player who revolutionized basketball by encouraging teams and players to take more three-point shots. Curry is considered to be one of the greatest basketball players of all time and the greatest shooter in the history of the NBA. He also holds the title of the most three-pointers scored in NBA history. He addressed the media during practice on Thursday, October 6th, and expressed his thoughts on whether or not a generational divide between Green and Jordan Poole could have been the root reason for their argument from the previous day. Everything is essential, even how we choose to deal with this circumstance. How Draymond reacts to the space that he needs to come back with the correct frame of mind on doing the work, coming with the appropriate enthusiasm, and making it about the team, like all of those things are crucial, is very important. In light of this, and even though Green is currently at the center of yet another issue, Curry thinks that his teammate should not alter the forthright nature he possesses. I don't want him to lose his fire, competitiveness, or voice because those are three of his greatest strengths and one of his superpowers. The path we will be on, and we will do whatever it takes to keep that presence and trust and help him rebuild whatever he needs to. Curry is a very supportive teammate and is more concerned with assisting Draymond in recovering from the incident than pointing the finger at anyone else. Number 2. De'Aaron Fox De'Aaron Fox, star point guard for the abysmal Sacramento Kings, had some choice words to say about the now infamous fight. It should be noted that Fox did not support the individual who shared the video. Here's his reaction to the fight, as posted on Twitter. Someone is definitely getting fired for leaking that video. The exact person's identity is a mystery, but yes, De'Aaron, you are probably right. Number 3. Evan Fournier Evan Medi Fournier is a professional basketball player who hails from France and now plays for the New York Knicks. Between 2007 and 2009, he participated in the junior basketball program at the INSEP Academy in France. Evan Fournier shared David West's sentiments when he said he was unhappy with the fact that the video had been leaked. Here is what Evan had to say about it on Twitter. Someone was given a bag for the release of that tape. SMH. Number 4. Trey Young Ah, Rayford Trey Young, superstar point guard Atlanta Hawks and resident enemy of New York Knicks fans everywhere. The comedic response that Trey Young gave to the video was as follows. Draymond is trying to get to LA. Damn! Although the speculation of Green wanting to join the Lakers if the Warriors don't extend him has been circulating the league for quite some time, Trey Young played the agitator on Twitter with his reaction. Only time will tell if Draymond truly joins LeBron and company. Number 5. John ja Morant 
This young star is poised to make even more serious noise in the NBA this season. He knows first thing what it's like to go up against the Golden State Warriors and their defensive anchor Draymond Green, as they battled in the playoffs just this past season. The response that Morant gave appeared to be not only funny, but also odd. On Twitter, he tweeted an emoji of an eye, which prompted a lot of people to giggle and wonder what the emoji was supposed to represent. Any guesses? Let me know in the comments. Number 6. Jared Sullinger Jared Sullinger Sr. is a former NBA player who now competes in the Chinese Basketball Association for the Shenzhen Aviators. Before being selected by the Boston Celtics with the 21st overall pick of the 2012 NBA Draft, he honed his skills as a college basketball player at Ohio State University. When it came to keeping the news of the fight to themselves, Jared was on Bob Meyer's side. His response was a series of tweets on Twitter that read as follows. Whoever leaked that video should be fired. Bob Myers clearly said, trying to keep it internal, and then you sell your soul. SMH. TMZ has never had any moral compass. We won't get into it in this video, but remember Kobe? Yeah, not cool TMZ, not cool. Number 7. Isaiah Thomas Isaiah Thomas is a former 12-time NBA All-Star and current NBA analyst. He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history and 75 greatest players. The NBA franchise known as the Detroit Pistons was his only team throughout his whole time in the professional ranks. Here is Isaiah's opinion on Draymond's altercation with Poole as stated on his Twitter handle. If that's someone you genuinely rock with, you ain't answering with a punch, and that's all I'm saying. Particularly after having been pushed. But since I'm not participating in the practice and I wasn't paying attention to what was being said, I'm going to let that go. Number 8. Kyrie Irving My man Kyrie is no stranger to controversy. Remember, like all of last season? <laughs> what a circus. Hopefully the Nets can turn that ship around. Anyways, Kyrie had a philosophical answer to the Warriors' debacle. As stated on Twitter, here is his reaction. No more forgive and forget, only remember and teach. Kyrie Irving, what a guy. Number 9. Justin Anderson Remember Justin Anderson? Yeah, neither do we. He did have a question that really raised some eyebrows, though. His response to the conflict somehow elicited reactions from other people. He said, How much was that bag to release that video to TMZ? I'm taking all guesses. Seriously, though, someone needs to leak that, too. Number 10. Damian Lillard The most loyal guy in the NBA, Dame Dalla had a different reaction than what most others had. Here's what he had to say. It's unfortunate, Lillard said, when you spend as much time with your teammates as we do, you want it to be positive and respectful. But I'd be lying if I said there hasn't been a lot of heated moments that I've seen in my career. I'm sure it happens in every locker room. You never wish to see that. I think it happens behind closed doors, but it should stay that way. It should be handled correctly, but it should stay behind closed doors. So I thought the fact that video came out was wrong. Honestly, I think Lillard hit the nail on the head here. And what do you guys think? Did someone release the tape purposely? Will this incident affect the Warriors during the season? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content.